Hey guys, how are you today and welcome to another F1 2017 team preview. Today, we're going to be previewing the Haas F1 team. They started their team for the 2016 season. Uh, they, did, they had a reasonable season. You know, They did very well in the first race in Australia, scoring points for Roman Grosjean. Then after that, it maybe it did sour a little bit. You know, They had a few braking issues. Grosjean complained about the car quite a bit, about the brakes and everything. They had a tiny bit of bad luck every so often, like in Monaco when Drojan was crashed into and stuff like that. But yeah, overall they, they will be content, that's a good word, content with their first season in F1. And they'll be looking forward to the 2017 season with all the new regulations and stuff. So, driver lineup in 2017. They're sticking, they're keeping Roman Grosjean in the team. I'll talk about him in a minute. But they're replacing Esteban Gutierrez, who I also talk about in a second, with Kevin Magnussen. And yes, so first of all, I'm going to talk, let me talk about Gutierrez, why they got rid of him. Basically, this is not very nice for me, but he was a bit rubbish. It, uh, he's, I think he's he sort of come out in the media saying he was too confident about his seat and he had he did have some pretty terrible races if you remember and as well as that he i can't remember which race it was but he retired and won the race he had quite a drop about it and you know he had an argument with the team boss and all of that and it just i think the writing was on the wall for him by by the end of the season wasn't it as for grosjean i would say he, he's got the potential to be a top top driver in F1, it's probably good for F1 to have a top French driver, and Grosjean does have the potential to do that. But I, I would say he is also quite inconsistent. You know, especially at the start of his career, he had a lot of crashes, and then yes, he did have a very strong 2013 in the Lotus. He got some podiums and things. He challenged Red a couple of times in the races, but He's inconsistent, and I guess he has to still, for, in my eyes anyway, he has to still prove himself as a top F1 driver. He's a good F1 driver, but he needs to be a top one. And I guess in a way, I would probably argue a similar thing with Kevin Magnussen. He, when he was at McLaren, I thought he did fairly well. You know, he got a podium in his first ever F1 race, you know, and he got a few points. But again, again he also had too many crashes, too many incidents. And and that's why I'm sort of now going to be worried for the Haas F1 team for 2017. And with my, with my worries, I haven't even said them all yet, I'm going to predict them to only come ninth in this year's constructors. They did, they did do slightly, they got eighth last season, but this year I'm only going to predict them to come ninth. So, I've said about their drivers, but also... They're not a manufacturer team. I've sort, of, I've sort of said this for other teams as well. Do they have enough funding, and not just funding, enough experience to be able to you know, adapt to the new rules to make a, a fast car for 2017? Of course, you can never tell. You know, they might have been able to find something that's going to give them a performance advantage. And of course, we don't know what a Ferrari engine will be like which is still going to be a huge factor in Haas' team performance and all the various team performances up and down the grid. But I'm not confident for the Haas team in the 2017 season. You know, they... I think they will one day get a bit high up the grid, maybe a bit later in this development race with these new rules, so maybe by 2018, 2019, they'll be a bit high up the grid, but I guess with a lot of things in F1, especially at this time in the season when we don't know anything that's going to happen, we'll have to wait and see. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. If you have anything to say about this video, please leave a comment in the comments section below. If you really enjoyed this video and you want to see more, more videos like this and other types of videos, please subscribe to my channel. Also go and check out the video that should be on screen right now. 
And with that note, I'll just ask you to follow me on Twitter at BGaming342 and like my Facebook page, BGaming342. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye.